All right, Jimbo. Rick, what's, what's up, up, buddy? How you doing? Another what night. Are the, what are the camera a a angles tonight? We've got a house tonight, as you know. We just did the walkthrough, so we're gonna go. With, we decided on four camera angles tonight. I've got the three, twenty of them right here for you. Okay. This is the upstairs bathroom. People have reported being followed when they leave the bathroom. They feel like they're being followed out. So right. It's giving everybody a real creepy feeling. So we got a camera set up there for okay. us. Okay, that's great. This is a bedroom within the house, and a couple reports are there's reports of somebody being touched while they're sleeping in the bed. Up on that little girl on the, on the daughter's bed. Da daughter's bed, She's yeah. She's getting poked in the head. Right. We've got an attic door back there. This is the bathroom door right now. We got to open. We got to close that. But we don't know if we're releasing something back here or not. So we've opened that door up. All right. And there was also a report where the bathroom door inside was flew open one day while the daughter was taking a shower. Kind of really freaked her out. Sent her running downstairs to mom. Right. This is the kitchen. This pantry door is of interest right here. Right. This here um, sink over here. Uh, when the homeowner's been doing dishes, you hear the, the creaks and the hinges on the door here. Yeah, it, it opens up. Opens up and closes on them. So okay. It's never in it, everybody in there with her when, they, when this happens. So. Okay. And then this is the main living room, the corner here. Uh, the cat is alerting them to something over here. Okay. It's good, strong. It's attention. Yeah, and, and, she, and she's gotten feeling. poked there. She's gotten yeah, poked. They got like, poked right here on the couch. couch. Sitting here on the couch. Okay. So that's uh, that's all four. That is all four camera angles for the night. Awesome, man. Bye, right, buddy. All right. See you see in the green? In the green. All right. Okay. Um, very rare early the night of we, we reveal some something, but uh, Jim got something in real in real, real time we're going to share with, with the client uh, just a few hours ago. Uh, he, actually, we got two, we got two things. Uh, Jim, you want to explain it? Yeah, we were doing a um, EVP session here in the, camp, in the dining room right here, and Jeff... Um, was experiencing some pressure on his shoulder and thought he was pushed over here. So he led up to uh, ask if anybody was here that pushed him. And Jen had asked a question, and we're going to play a portion on tape here. And you'll hear where you want to listen to is when Jeff says, Do you want me here? Are you the one that pushed me? Okay. And then you, I want you to hear what's after that. And that's what we're going to respond to. Okay. That's what we're here, that's what okay. we're here to show you okay. is the, uh, the response for that. So I should have this queued up just right. Is the person who pushed me in the kitchen right now? Yes. Oh, gosh, I just got chills. Oh, it hurt. You, you, you want to hear it again? Yes, yeah. I hear it again? Yeah. All right. Who pushed me in the kitchen right now? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> okay. So we got that in real, real, in real evil, time. Though. It sounds like a girl. Yeah. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. It definitely was a yes. Okay. And then we got a second clip. We're going to let you listen to him. It's shortly after this, and we have some little bit of play time, but it's the footsteps that you were talking to us about. Okay. So that's what we're going to be listening for. Came from up from upstairs, right? Upstairs, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we all we also um, we also have a question to ask, to ask you. Has anybody in the family ever had a Ouija board in here? Not mm, us. No, not us. Not us, but I don't know prior to us. Okay. Okay. All right, because we got responses from that. Uh, somebody was pulling with one. Really? Wow. Yeah, up in that room. I'll have to ask my daughter. It could have been somebody pre pre previous per yeah. person. We asked if the Ouija board was still here, and it's not. Yeah. So that's a good thing. I don't okay. play with Ouija boards. I'm against yeah. them. I understand. They're dangerous. But, but so. it was a constant um, yeah. thing with that, right? It was a consistent response. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So that, that was but her daughter's had friends over before. We, who knows? What you know, you ought to ask her if they've yeah. ever but, dabbled in that. She knows Honestly. how I feel about yeah. it, but I don't well, I don't know. I don't think yeah. they did, but yeah, there so, was a family here before us, so I don't know what yeah. they could have done. Did they have children? Yes. They had oh, okay. Room. Well, that could that could possibly happen. That could possibly happen. Getting evicted. Yeah. From what I heard. Oh. Well, also, um, one of our investigators has a bit of a 
you know, a personal experience is what ha happens to you. A shared experience is the best thing, mm -hmm. but sometimes a personal experience, like something whis whispering in your ear, you getting um, tapped, tapped on mm -hmm. your shoulder, stuff like that is a personal thing. It shakes you up because it invades your, your, your mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, you can explain what, what happened. Yep, we were here in the dining room, and initially Jeff was standing over by the steps, yeah. okay. and he felt like a pressure on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And he felt uncomfortable, so he walked over towards where the pocket doors are. Mm -hmm. And we were all standing here watching him, and all of a sudden he like leaned back. And we're like, what happened? He goes, I felt like somebody just pushed me. So we had asked, um, using the ghost meters and K2s, and we actually got responses that yes, somebody had to kind of get his attention, not you know, to be malicious or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, that was when you asked the question wild. on here, are you the one that pushed me? And then they got the yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So it's all, all, all connect, connected in the same scene, okay. the same time frame, mm -hmm. which is fa fascinating. Um, when you have co connections like that, that's when the puzzles start falling into place. So there's something going on. What it is, I don't know. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's anything really, really bad. But I just think there's some there's something here. Uh, we'll have hundreds and hundreds of hours of tapes to go to go go through before we can get back to you and tell you exactly what we have. Yep. But I can say we didn't get skunked tonight. As you can see, we did get something in yeah. real real time. So uh, the steps there. Some of the steps that you hear, we we believe, is coming from this van going on and off cycling. Sometimes upstairs, it seems like there's steps, mm -hmm. but that what we heard upstairs wasn't. No. That was yeah. a real. That was really foot footsteps, really? and and yeah. nobody was up was up yeah, there. We had the whole team on this floor. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. So, so and that's the reason we did it. We put each one of us on the same floor all the way throughout. Yeah. So there won't be any of that kind of contamination. Yeah. And you never know with a with a, tr a transit place like 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 this this town during the civil civil war, before the civil war, and after the civil civil war. I mean, the fort remained a fort for a long period of time. This was coming, going. People sh shuffling. The, the it was a. Uh, uh, Houses were being thrown up like like this. This one for people to stay. It was a booming town. Mm -hmm. uh, the fisheries were good. The crabbing was great. Everything was just going, going, going. And this was a transit place. Believe me, things were just going on and on and on. And people probably moved in and out of here. Yeah. So you don't know who was here and who wasn't here. Yeah. It's kind of hard to keep keep track of that. Um, and small smaller towns tend not to. Yeah. They tend not to keep files. Yeah, I couldn't find yeah, I, yeah, I know, house. I know, yeah. So it was kind of difficult, but that's okay. So um, uh, we'll get back, get back to you in a, co a couple of weeks. Okay. All okay. right. Yeah, All right. Uh, we go on these investigations. You never know what we're we're going to get. Um, but we did not get skunked tonight here at the at this house. So on behalf of Delmar of Historic Haunts, Lab Group of Gettysburg Paranormal. Good night.